All right, today's air surveillance op. Um, so what I had to do before I could get to it was um, uh, coordinate with a second person to have somebody there for backup uh, because I do not trust these government actors to not to uh, try to ambush me or hold on, I gotta plug this or frame me for something. Wouldn't be the first time. Border Patrol, Deer Park. Anyway, um, so basically it was really simple to find them because of the aircraft orbiting overhead. I mean, the aircraft's orbit was small enough that it was relatively easy to find them. Now, when you're out doing this and you're looking for aircraft, dang, that thing was loud. Comes from a guy that drives a Roush. You're looking for aircraft. If they're over a neighborhood, it's a lot harder to pin down, you know, what they're watching or where they're watching. Okay, but but like today, the the plane's orbit was over major intersections. College Avenue, although I didn't find anything at College Avenue. Um, so which means they were following somebody because they kept moving. And then they hovered there at Edgebrook, um, Edgebrook and 45 for quite some time. So what I did was, I know that these guys have bulletins on me <clears throat> and they're watching for me. So what I did is I got out. I made myself very obvious, not that I ever hide. You know, um, I, I generally don't hide, but you know, they really only see me when I want them to see me. Um, but I wasn't hiding. I actually got out of my vehicle and walked around, made sure they were looking at me and paying attention to me so that my secondary could get pics of the vehicles and plate numbers and stuff like that. So um, we, we found some, some really nice vehicles, you know, some uh, really nice four-door F-150, um, Ford Taurus, some, some others. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, once the aircraft left, unfortunately, I don't. I think they they made an arrest, um, but I don't know where the arrest occurred. Everybody was sitting around the Fiesta parking lot, so I thought that might be where they were at. But there's restaurants right across the street that they could have been watching. There's there's a neighborhood right there. Um, there's there's no telling. Uh, they probably were standing by while the mark units made the stop and I missed the stop. So, you know, no big deal. Um, but then I got this funny phone call, <laughs> weird phone call from a, a unknown number um, telling me that, that I should stay there because there's going to be a big bust there and he heard it on the radio and I'm like, well, you know, I'm listening to Southeast Tactical. I'm listening to the Sheriff's Department's tactical channels, the, the HPD's op channels, you know, all this stuff. And I'm not hearing anything. Um, and you can't listen to narcotics or gang units or the DEA because their channels are scrambled. And he tells me, oh, no, there's a channel that they're using called um, TCI. TCI, Texas. I don't know. Anyway. And so I looked at radio reference and, and there is no such channel, of course. Um, he was just trying to get me to stay there at the Fiesta for some reason. So uh, when I had already left, so I, I got back with my partner, uh, my backup, and we utilized their vehicle to go back because it's an, it's unknown and uh, didn't see anything happen and didn't see any sign of anything that was gonna happen. So we burned off and left it alone. But um, that app, that the, which I've listed many times here for you guys, is very useful. Um, now, a lot of times, once the, the uh, surveillance craft get near their, where they're gonna surveil, they'll turn off their squawk, they'll turn off the GPS. They just notify the tower that they're gonna be in, you know, in such and such area so that they're not a problem to to navigation, they're not a hazard to aircraft navigation. So what you do then is you switch over to radar, okay, and you use the radar to locate aircraft that were following a track and then disappeared and see, you know, where they're at and what they're doing. And when you find them circling an area, that's going to be some type of air surveillance. Easy enough, right guys? Who needs radios? <laughs> All you need is an internet connection and uh, and that app. Love it. Uh, that's it, guys. I will see you again soon. Y'all be safe.